Hello, let me show you today a reported problem in Blackboard when viewing total scores or final grades for students on weighted total columns. So let me demonstrate what the problem is. Inside of the Grade Center, as students uh, complete assignments, the uh, total grade column is going to change. And in this instance, we are using categories to create the total. And notice this bug where Blackboard is displaying um, many decimal places after the, uh, the main percentage number. When we view the same column through my grades, so the student view, we will see simplified and rounded number. So here we see 89.64, whereas uh, in the course we see 89.63507. Now this may introduce some uh, concerns about assigning the grade, especially when the grade is on the edge of the schema, as we have it right here. At 89%, this would be a B plus. At 90%, it would be an A minus. So how can we reconciliate this? Well, first of all, this bug uh, applies to this very display of a calculated column uh, across categories. This is uh, not just a simple total column. If we were to take a quick look at how this column is calculated, we will see a set of categories and calculations taking place. Now, to see the simplified display, the display that students see, we would navigate to work offline, download, and uh, then we would go ahead and press submit and download the spreadsheet. A uh, spreadsheet that is going to show all the students and then the total grade calculated. Now, as you can see, this grade matches what the students uh, see. So, the 89, uh, that 64 is exactly what the spreadsheet shows. So, that's the first way to reconciliate the grade and to make sure that we're looking at what students are viewing. Now, we can actually see the student view by using the student preview button in our course. So in the course where I'm the instructor, I have a little green button with arrows. Now the green button will uh, actually light up green when you first create the user uh, automatically. Uh, it's possible that on your computer it's still a gray dot in the middle. But when you press this button, you will enter your course as a student. So this will allow you to view the My Grades screen. So in this class, we'll navigate to Tools, My Grades, and uh, we can now view exactly what a student would view. Now this particular student happens to be the test student created automatically for my class. And under the Settings button, I can manage whether I would like to keep this data or delete it immediately. So I could preview my course and then exit, delete the preview data so that there's no trace of this activity. In this instance, when working with a grade center, I probably want to keep the preview user data so that I can, uh, I can add more uh, points to the user and create a situation as I've done here where the user has some uh, score and I can troubleshoot it from here. So uh, uh, the settings button is in the upper right hand corner and I believe the default is to delete the preview user data so you want to change it to keep it and then you can view inside of the gradebook for this class a user called the preview user and it'll, it'll have your name associated with it. So now if we go to the grade center I will be able to see I'll be able to see a user with my name and then the very assignment that uh, this user um, either completed or whatever I typed in here for them in the Grade Center. All right, so we saw the discrepancy between the display of the calculated column in the Grade Center and then what is displayed in my grades. And then we looked at the uh, spreadsheet display which comes from the work offline and download uh, functionality. Now, there is 
One more thing that we could do here to perhaps simplify uh, the display for students. We could use the letter grade schema. So instead of in my grades displaying percentage, we could display a letter grade for them. Now, it is important at this point to make sure that under Manage and Grading Schemas, the grading schema, uh, specifically we can call it whatever we want. If there are multiple ones, we want to rename one of them so that we apply the correct one to the, to the column. But uh, this grading schema should match what we have in the syllabus. Blackboard, of course, creates a default schema, but if your syllabus says that at 90 percent it is an A minus and anything below uh, 90 percent but uh, greater than 87 is a B plus then that's what needs to be set up right here on this screen. This will ensure that uh, Blackboard is setting the the correct uh, letter grades. So let's see how this works. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this screen. Now I know that my schema is set up correctly. I will go ahead and navigate to the grade center. I will modify the total grade column. Now, of course, I could create a copy of it and uh, have the letter grade as a separate column. But this, in this instance, I'm going to change percentage in the primary display, which is what students see. I will change it to letter. So I will still see the secondary display, the score, and possibly I could change it into percentage. And perhaps that's what I'll do right here. So I will see the percentage and students simply see the letter. I will uh, press submit here. And notice the behavior where Blackboard specifies the letter grade based on what we provided in the schema. Now, because Blackboard is going to only round up to two decimal places, this is not rounded up to 90, it's rounded up to 89.64, therefore staying at B+. And if we were to switch to the student view, let's take a quick peek at how this uh, 89.63507 is displayed for students. Let's navigate to Tools, My Grades, and then again My Grades. All right, and here we see that the student sees B plus as a display. Now, the average and the median, that's a, that's a different setting. In, in the uh, grade center column, these are a specific uh, average for the entire class. So the fact that I only have one student in this class, that's the reason why the average and the median matches the actual score for the student. But these would be a very different uh, when the, the class is full of students. So right now the students are not, uh, this, uh, are not shown the percentage at all. They're just shown the grade that is agreed both uh, inside of the grade center and in the My Grades view. And if we were to uh, take a look at um, the spreadsheet display, this percentage is going to also agree with the schema that we set up for the letter grades. So uh, with the bug that's present, uh, hopefully it's not going to affect uh, too much and, and, and create a disturbance in uh, reconciliation of grades, but this is uh, one way to uh, resolve this problem. Thank you very much.